All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have, uh, let me see, let me show you guys here. We're going to do these IRS aluminum diff mount bushing system. It's Steeda. Uh, you see how it says race only on there? They probably put that on there, that race only, because when you install these, here's the bushings here. They're just supports, really. <clears throat> um, here's the other one. So you have the front and the rear, and then you have hardware. Let's see, here's the hardware. All right, so it's pretty heavy duty stuff. Oh, that's cool, they even give you some grease, that grease. Yeah, oh, you know, it's for the bushing, bushing grease, just to keep the noise down. So back to why this probably says, or I'm pretty sure why it says race only, is because when you install these bushing supports into these IRSs, you get a lot of road noise, okay? So that's why it says on the box, race only, because you're really taking away the quietness of the ride of these cars when you reinforce all this, because <clears throat> what you're doing is you're stiffening up the bushing. So all the vibrations out of the IRS and the dry shift and in the road noise out of the wheels, you hear more, so. That's why they say race only on them, okay? <clears throat> if you guys are really worried about, I mean, you really don't need these things unless you're really putting down like, you know, six, 700 wheel horsepower or more. Uh, I would suggest them. But, you know, if you're under 600, you're okay with the stock stuff. Um, once you start putting down some serious power, you're going to want to do these because... If you don't do these, you're going to be tearing the bushings up in these cars, and you're going to be replacing them a lot, and then that's going to come very become very costly, you know, and time consuming. So it's a good idea, like I said, if you're over 600 horsepower, to do these. All right. So we're going to do a little quick install video on them. Um, big shout out to uh, Steeda for the parts. Um, there's some pretty good guys over there. Uh, we also have on this car. The full Steeda Stop the Hop kit. We have, uh, we got our um, subframe bushings in here, supports. See them. All right. And we have them on the front as well, top and bottom. Okay. We have the, the uh, support braces. <clears throat> so, pretty much the only thing we have to do is stiffen up this uh diff okay so once we stiffen up the diff we'll be okay um i have some vertical links coming uh, i bought the bmr vertical links the cheaper ones because they're very effective and they're cheap and they're still very good quality so <clears throat> we're gonna do a little video right now guys i also want to show you they actually give you um pretty good instructions here they tell you what tools you need the installation process and procedure they even give you pictures if you guys like pictures which is pretty cool so I mean you really can't screw this up um, this is a fairly easy install uh, I mean you can even do this on the ground I have a lift so it makes it even easier but it's not that big of a deal of a job so Wants us to use blue Loctite and apply grease with the bolt. The grease is to keep the noise down. Put 
some torque on this baby. Now it is soft aluminum, so we're not going to go crazy tight, but we're going to put a little bit on it. That's pretty good. Okay, passion side done. Okay, rear done. Now we'll go to the front. Bolt's really long and it's tight all the way out. There we go. Finally loosen it up. <sighs> this side's gonna be a little interesting because we're taking one bolt out and we're putting two bolts in, one in the back, one in the front. So we're gonna see how that works out. This is my first time installing any bushings on an S550 Mustang. Well, let me say differential bushings. We did subframe bushings already in the rear. Okay. Get the other bolt. <sighs> Guys, be sure to use all blue Loctite on these bolts. All, all these, all six bolts in this uh, IRS uh, bushing support kit require Loctite. It says in the instructions. And we're running out of Loctite. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? Come on. There we go. Give me a little bit. <laughs> That's got to come down. This is shitty. How am I going to get that in there? It's got to come down a little bit. Alright guys, unfortunately, we have to remove the stop the hop um, braces right there. Uh, the subframe has to come down in the front to clear because I cannot get the the bushings in there you see it but I can't get the bolt to hold the bushing in because the gas tank is too close to the to the subframe right here so this has to come down and that means we have to remove the braces and take the bolts out so it's not going to be as quick as I thought it was going to be but it's got to be done so let's get it done That wasn't too bad. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like when I make that noise, I get a little stronger. shot the fuck out. That's what happens when you're in a shop working by yourself. You start talking to yourself. So, that's that one side. Let's see what we can do here on this side. Ugh. 
me give you a shot. Let me give you guys a little look why it's still like down still. So we had to actually drop the subframe down to get the bolt in there. They give you two bolts on this setup when the stock setup is just one long bolt. Obviously this bushing isn't there neither. So they give you a short bolt to hold the bushing in and another bolt to hold the diff in. Subframe has to come down. There's no other way to get it. Again, guys, definitely use this grease. It keeps it, uh, it it keeps the noise down from the rubber on metal. Highly recommend it to use this stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna have a squeaky box going down the street. Nobody likes squeaky boxes. Oh, this side was a lot easier. They literally just moved the whole bushing. Make sure you tighten the back bolt first before you tighten the front bolt. There goes my noise again. Okay, done. It's the front bushing right there. Two bolts. Stock is one bolt setup. Here's the rear bushing. One long bolt back into the diff. So now we're just going to put up the IRS back up and that's about it uh, I hope this install helped you guys out in all reality this is not a crazy hard job at all uh, you can do this on the ground fairly easy with some jack stands it was really not that hard at all so eh, very easy job take care guys God bless